Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soap for Royal Appleberry, and today I am making another soap. Uh, this soap that this morning I was kind of laying in bed and I had no idea what I wanted to make, but of course I make soap every weekend. So I'm just like, hmm. I was on Pinterest because I'm like a serious Pinterest nut. And um, I was just looking through and seeing, you know, I don't even know what I was looking at because it wasn't color inspiration. But I came across this really, really, really cool uh, fabric that was like... Um, Florally, and it has these colors so I'm going to be using this I don't know if you can see that because it's in the container let me see if I go over it it's a dark purple I got this from Southern Sensations yeah this dark purple so that's going to be my major color and then I'm going to do some drop swirls in um, Silver Fan by Mad Oil which is I think this one here yeah it's this one here and then I'm going to do this blue which is called pearl blue which is from TKB and then this which is called a uh, Austrian amber which is from TKB as well and then I have some good old trusty titanium dioxide so I'm gonna go ahead and pour these off and I'll get them all stirred up and then I'll come back I'm not gonna bore you guys with that okay be back in a minute okay guys I'm back so I have my fragrance mixed in I didn't tell you guys what my fragrance was because I totally forgot uh, my fragrance is farmhouse and that's by um, southern sensations I I did do a review on that fragrance when I first bought it so if you want to know what it smells like it smells delicious okay <laughs> it's very fall like um, it's what can I say it's kind of hard to explain it kind of smells like apple cider It kind of smells like fruit it's just a very fall type smell and I'm I keep looking at this this is my purple oh my like my dark plum and I'm not in love no I'm not so I think I want to just add a wee bit more color to this and then um yeah I'll uh, ugh. well yeah while I'm, I'm talking to you all I think about that it's like really nothing actually stay the color I want it to of course you know my fave is rustic essentials and I did really want to use their products but I didn't have a purple that uh, like a plum color and then like even this this silver fin from um what is this matte oils turn like a greenish color because of my soap uh, base colors which I don't know just with um, rustic essentials it just stays tried and true I don't have to try to figure out what it's gonna be or try to make it into something it's not so let me get this purple back to the color I want it and then I'll start pouring and I'll be back okay guys so I don't think this uh, plum is gonna get any plumier <laughs> so I did add a little bit more and it is more to the color that I like because at first it was kind of like brownish and I wasn't really feeling that so I'm gonna go ahead and get this poured in here just because everything is starting to thicken up on me and I don't want any problems I want everything just to go the way I want it to go and life goes on from there that would be nice so I'm gonna go ahead and pour oops majority of this in there and then I'll save just a weeds a bit for the top just because I think I want to do like a mantra or something on the top not sure yet so I think, I think, let's see, yeah, that's good. And I'll just save the rest. Yes, that's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. I'll clean up some of this mess that I'm sloshing around here. And then I'm going to give this smack down just to get rid of any air bubbles. And then I'll pour my next colors. Okie dokes. Yeah, I just really wish that uh, this blue or was supposed to be blue, stay blue, and now it's green. It's just kind of messed up my whole color scheme. But, oh well, I will work with it because I always do, but this is most certainly not the color I was going for. It's like the longer it sits, the greener it gets. And I'm not feeling that because it went from like light blue to um, turquoise. Now it's like a, a dark green. Not dark green, but it's getting to that point, but... Oh well, I'm not going to stress over it. I'm sure I'll like it, but I really would have preferred that it be blue. So I wish that I could have just used Rustic Essentials um, uh, blue instead, but I wish I just should have. But yeah, this is most certainly not what I'm going for. But it still works for fall because I am working on my fall line now. So I mean, is it a bust? No, never. But it should have been blue. So the first color I'm going to pour is this green. It's so certainly not blue. <laughs> That's so funny. Boy, what's so making you just never, ever, ever know what you're going to get. 
you just don't but it's cool because I think it's gonna turn out grand anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this from up high I'm trying not to get my camera or the table okay yeah this is most certainly not the color I wanted I don't know what that's gonna look like but we'll find out won't we okay so the next color I'm going to pour is if I can get that off my hand <laughs> <laughs> the next color I'm going to pour is my brownish color. Oh, wow, that's gotten really thick. <sighs> okay. Hopefully I can pour it. I think this one's going to be a ploppers. Yep, I do believe it's going to be... That looks like caramel. Yummy. But I do think this is going to be a ploppers and not a pour. Yeah. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah, I got tufts of silk everywhere. Jesus. Oh, that is very disappointing. So I don't know how that's going to come out in a drop swirl. But it just might work. I'm not going to you know, start feeling bad just yet. But man, these are not the colors that I wanted at all. So, whatever. It's going to work. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll just wait to give that a smack down. I'll do my white, or cream, should I say. I'm trying to avoid using all these spatulas, but since everything has thickened up on me, I'm going to have to just use a bunch of spatulas. Well, the white is still green. It's always the white that stays fairly fluid. Come on, break through, please. That would be lovely if you did. And I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know what kind of drops roll this is gonna be. Okay, let me get this to smack down and then I'll continue pouring my green and then we'll repeat. Man, this is not the color I was looking for. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh well. You guys know how I roll. <laughs> it's always the ones that I'm kind of disappointed in, they turn out being the best. And I'll pour some more of my green that was supposed to be blue. But it does smell amaze balls, it really does. It is so fall like, it is perfect for fall. These, these colors are good too, so it's not a bust, it's just not what I wanted. Okay, so pour from a pie. I'm kind of like using the spatula to make it come down. Gotta get some on that in. Yeah. And then, I think I'm gonna have far too much green, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some more of this in here. It's not a lot, but it's more than I need for the top, that's for sure. Yeah, that is crazy. That actually turned like, um, what color would you call this green? Like a, almost an olive in a sense. That is craziness. And that went from an actual like silverish blue to this beautiful turquoise color to this. Like I said, soap making is you just never know what you're going to get. It's like, it is chemistry. You know, you just have to crush your fingers, eyes and toes and hopefully you'll get what you want. But I'm loving this. I have an idea for this for fall because this most definitely looks like caramel, doesn't it? Oh, love that. So I don't know how old this is going to do because it's getting thicker still. So, but it, man, I keep saying it smells good. It smells, it's like perfect for fall. And guys, this is not going to be, oops, a drop swirl. It can't be because these clumps are just way too thick. So I don't know what kind of drop swirl that would be. I'm going to have to uh, use a skewer for this for sure or a hanger, but I don't know if I, no, I'm not going to do a hanger. I'll just do a skewer maybe once or twice round because I don't know how well this is going to work out for a mantra on the top either. So basically, <laughs> none of this is going to work out the way I wanted it to, which is okay. Whatever. Whatever. That's what I say. So it's still going to be fab. Yes. Yes, it is. You think positive. That's what you do. When things backfire, you think positive and say it's still going to be awesome sauce. I just know it. Okay. 
and that is all for that and then i'll cover the rest with what's left of green and then everything else is going oh no i got i could do a little bit more of this can i not that much yeah i'll do a little bit more of the purple the plum whatever color you want to call it and then i have what i'm gonna have for that okay and then the green i'm surprised this green is like so fluid the green the white and the purple are very fluid oh i didn't even tell you guys that um or did i, I can't remember but the pearl blue from tkb i lost that i didn't lose it but it just thickened up way too much and it no i'm lying it didn't thicken up it just turned to this really really ugly color which is like a pea green kind of like this <laughs> so maybe i should have kept it <laughs> but oh well i used it for to make some little cupcakes out of so i just used those and give them away as samples but actually now the more even though this is totally not what i was going for but the more i look at the colors i'm kind of liking it and i'm not just saying that i actually do kind of like this now so i don't know i think you just have to stare at it enough and then it'll grow on you yeah it's like a fungus <laughs> so okay let me give this a tap down i don't know what i'm gonna do with yeah, that caramely color i don't know i just don't know what i'm gonna do with that so let me put this back in there where it belongs get in there please and thank you you too you're not special okay and then i'll give this a smack down and then we will commence the swirling yes yes we will okay my fingernails i tell you i love these pink gloves but they are very thin my fingernails always poke right through them well thankfully they were cheap and i got two boxes so i got 200 gloves to ruin <laughs> part of me just kind of wants to not do anything to it uh like swirl it but i just kind of feel like that that caramel color is just way too thick it's going to be in big clumps and i'm not going to like that so i will give it just a weensy bit of a swirl now where is the swirling stick oh here we go so i was going to use a skewer but i don't want my swirls that thin so here it goes Oh yeah oh yeah that is really thick that is super duper yeah I don't know what that's gonna be like I'm curious yeah that is weird I think I'm gonna like it though yeah just gonna mush around that caramel color yeah and that's all I'm gonna do psych <laughs> that's terrible i just gotta get down in there okay all right that's all i'm gonna do no jokes this time and it's fairly it's pretty darn hot i don't know it, i think it's just this fragrance oil yep that's what it is because it was dandy i even tested it and said you know while i was uh mixing my colors i poured it in the green that i tossed well didn't toss just didn't use and i'm just like hmm, let's see how well it works and it behaved pretty well and then by the time i turned the camera back on it had thickened up it's most definitely fragrance oil and then too you guys know i'm slow as my last so it's partially me and it i think if you were to do just something very simple or not a whole lot of colors or just you can get it all in a mold within like whatever 10 minutes you'd be dandy most definitely it's just me you guys know me i'm super slow so whatever okay so now let's see what we're gonna do with this because it ain't gonna be a mantra <laughs> might but i doubt it yep i highly doubt it i'm just kind of scraping all of this what's left out of the bowl and for those of you who are joining for the first time hello this is normally how i how i sew <laughs> not always but i do have times where things do not turn out the way i want them to but that's the thing about me i don't care you know i'm i'm not going to ever pretend i'm a perfect sewer because i am far from it if things backfire on me i show it to you guys because i want you guys to see that hey it happens to the best of us i don't care how long you've been making soap it doesn't matter so that's why i show you guys all of my 
my flubs and my mess ups and all that stuff so it's all here for you all to see and if you like this flub please do give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more flubs or the ones that I actually nail because I do nail some I most definitely do um subscribe it's just that easy and then that way you can get notifications of what I'm doing and when I post videos and all of that fun stuff and for those of you who do not know I do have a second channel yes I do it's I guess like a I don't know I don't, I don't like to call it a beauty channel because it's all kinds of stuff it's going to be talk of hair and makeup and fun stuff and shoes and oh my goodness gracious yes there is going to be a video coming up of a collection that I have and it's a massive collection I'm not going to tell you what it is because you would have to go over there and see if I tell you then you won't go or you probably will but I would prefer for you to go over there and see it first so um, if you want to visit my second channel it is called unconventional Kenny I will be most definitely putting all that information in the section below and that way you can go over there and see what antics I am up to it's some really really fun stuff it's already I think five videos posted over there I can't remember but yeah it's some really fun stuff over there so must definitely go and check me out and please do subscribe because i would greatly appreciate it and by you guys subscribing and liking these videos most definitely that just let us know that you like what we do and you want us to continue to do more that's why we constantly ask you as youtubers or uh, content creators to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and come back because we really really that's what we work for <laughs> for the thumbs up to say that hey you know what we like you we want to see more so it is greatly appreciated that's why I always ask for it I mean only if you like it if you like these videos do give us a thumbs up and that's not just me that's all of us because all of us we work so hard no matter what content that we create and post all of us work really really hard so and it's really really appreciated I know it's very easy to forget because I'll do that I'm like watching a video of one of my favorite soapers or youtubers or whatever and I'm just like oh I love that video and then I'll go to the next video I'm like oops I forgot to like it so I do go back and like their videos if I did forget because you know that is very very important to us all as youtubers so enough of that so yeah I don't know um I don't even think I should attempt to use that brown I just don't but I'm gonna try it <laughs> I know I'm asking for it, but I'm going to try it. Ooh, I don't know. That is really thick, guys. Look at that. Yep, so probably not. I might just have to toss this into one of those molds and make a cupcake out of it, too. But it does smell divine, for sure. Yep, this is not going to happen. That really, I'm not even going to try to stick that on there, because that's just ridiculous. Okay, so, um, I do need a skewer this time. And where are my skewers? I have no clue. Shame. Oh, guys, please forgive me. You know me. You know me. I'm not even going to say it because you know I'm going to say. I don't want to use that uh, makeup brush because it's too thick. Okay, I see them. I just got to get one out with my glove fingers. Okay, there we go. So I got a fresh new skewer. And I am going to attempt some sort of a mantra swirl but I need to actually move this around just a little bit just because it's not placed exactly how it needs to be okay so that is grand and I should have saved a little bit more of the creamy white but it's all gonna work yes yes it is yes it is okay and push that over some and just a wee bit down there and then clean up these sides get that down the mold too because I can use that and every little bit counts okay I think that's good I think I see that over there I'll get it <laughs> like um yeah right now I know that's not the same color over there, but it's okay. All right, so, um, that is so super thick underneath there. My goodness, it is crazy how thick that soap is under there. I could feel it like with this skewer. Every time I move up and down, I feel like I'm etching into it <laughs> well I guess I don't have to worry about it you know taking forever to take out the mold that's for sure 
Okay, I'm going to do this a couple of times. And then that's not enough. So I think I'm going to go. Should I go that way? Hmm, yes. Yes, I should. That is so crazy how thick that soap is under there. But it's fine. Okay, so that is it. Uh, you know what? I don't even know if you guys can see all what I did. So sorry. Lately, me and my camera angles, we've just been way off, man. Way off. So hopefully you were able to see everything I just did. I know you can see part of it because I can see, but I, I should have had it closer. But I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see it for sure. So don't you worry. Okay, I just want to kind of clean this off because that's grody. Very, very grody. And then I'm going to give this one little snack down. Because it's, I think I should. Okay, be back. This kind of, you know what, this, even though this is purple, this reminds me, and I hope it doesn't turn out looking like that, but this surely looks just like my, um, coconut lime soap. And that's a shame. <laughs> because the colors change just that much if I have two of the same looking soaps. But, okay, here it is. This is called... I don't know. I didn't give it a name. Nope, I didn't. By the time I cut it, look and see what's going on inside of it, I'll have a name. I'm sure of it. But yeah, um, yeah, so that's it. And I just, man, that kind of stinks. I just looked at that. So I'm just like, these are the exact same colors because this purple really is starting to look brown. But we'll see. All right, guys, so that's enough of that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do like this video. And if you are new, please do subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. Love you all so much. Hugs and kisses. So until next time. And don't forget to watch a cutting video because cutting video will be up right after this. And if it's not right after, it'll be at least 15 minutes. Just give me a chance to post it. Okay, so until next time, guys, this is Kenny the Messy Sober at Royal Appleberry. And I'll see you later.